Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in the previous tutorials, you know, we have learned about the special functions or the manipulator functions available in C++ and also, you know, we have learned how to use them. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create your own custom manipulator functions. So all of us know that, you know, we have uh, two types of manipulator functions, you know, one which work with the input stream and another one you know which works with the output stream and also we have another type you know the one which takes the parameter and the one which doesn't take any parameter for example you know in the previous tutorial we have used end line you know which is not going to take any parameter but you know we had uh, the set w you know which is used to set the width you know which was taking a parameter to write the manipulator function in which are gonna take the parameter you know the procedure differs from a compiler to compiler and also between the compiler version to version so you need to check out your you know compilers documentation in order to you know construct the manipulator function in which are gonna take parameters but the manipulator functions you know which are not gonna take any parameters are gonna be same to all the compilers and they are easy to write and in this tutorial i'm gonna show you how to write the manipulator function you know which are not gonna take any parameters all right uh, in this tutorial for the demonstration purpose what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a manipulator function you know which is gonna be used with the output stream and also another manipulator function you know which are gonna be used with the input stream so first we're gonna write the manipulator function for the output stream so the manipulator function that works with the output stream must return an object of the Vostream class. So it's gonna be Vostream and it's gonna return by reference and then the name of your manipulator function. So you guys can give any name. So here I'm just gonna say right arrow and then a pair of parentheses and uh, the manipulator function body. So here between these parentheses, you know, we need to pass an object of this Vostream class so I'm gonna copy that and paste it here and let's say output so you know when we use this manipulator function right arrow in our program we're not gonna pass any parameters you know the C++ is gonna automatically pass an object of this OStream class so here the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna build this manipulator function body so here uh, inside this manipulator function you guys can uh, you know use any other manipulators you know or you guys can set the io specific flags whatever you want you guys can do that so here you know just for the demonstration purpose and simply we're just gonna insert something to this output stream so it's gonna be output you know i just gonna insert an arrow so it's gonna be an arrow and then uh, if you want to end this line you guys can end this line here you know whatever you want you guys can do that so we're not gonna end the line here and uh, then we're gonna return the output all right now this is a simple manipulator function which we have written and the next thing is you know here what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a string variable and let's call it as name and we're gonna use this manipulator function to read the name and uh, display that so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna build a manipulator function which is gonna work with the input stream the return type must be an uh, object of the iStream class so it's gonna be iStream and then the ampersand symbol because you know we are dealing with reference and then let's say get name you know I'm gonna use this manipulator to you know get the name for this uh, string name that's why you know I just give the name get name you guys can give any name you want and then parenthesis and then the manipulator function body so here a manipulator function which is going to work with the input stream it's going to take an object of the iStream class so it's going to be iStream and we're going to take that by reference and let's call it as input all right next inside this manipulator function you know if you want to use any flags or you know use any manipulators you guys can use that you know but here we're just going to say using the cout and uh, you know since you know we are using this one to receive the name for this name variable i just gonna ask the name so enter your name please and uh, 
let's end this line and then uh, we're just gonna return our input stream you know as it is so input all right now we have the manipulator functions you know one is gonna work with the output stream and another one is gonna work with the input stream so here in the right arrow manipulator function uh, if you want to add anything you guys can add that for example here in this program we're gonna use this one to print out the name you know which is stored in this name so i'm just gonna say cool name man all right you know just for the demonstration purpose and then in our main function now we have a variable you know which is of type string now i'm gonna use c in and then i'm gonna use the manipulator function you know get name so i'm gonna write get name here and then make sure no parameter you know the only parameter that it's gonna take will be automatically passed by the c plus plus so we don't need to pass any parameters and then uh, we're gonna store that in our name that's it the next thing that uh, we're gonna do is now we're gonna print out the value so it's gonna be c out and then i'm gonna use this right arrow so it's gonna be right arrow and uh, here also no parameter you know the only parameter will be passed by the c++ automatically you know which is an object of the o stream class and then uh, we're just gonna refer our name and that's it and then we should have a return statement here so it's gonna be return zero all right now i'm gonna save this program i'm gonna build and run this now you guys can see enter your name which is from this manipulator function you know which is used with the input stream you know enter your name please i'm just gonna enter anil and then i'm gonna hit the enter button it says cool name man anil so this is from the manipulator function you know which we have used with this output stream so these manipulator functions are nothing but the special functions you know which are gonna work with the input and output streams and uh, you guys can construct your own manipulator functions just like the way we have done here and uh, you know inside the manipulator functions you guys can do anything you want and uh, yeah that's it thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial